Hi everyone! So this is my first ever IGTV book review and today we're going to be talking about Sarah J Maas's A Court of Silver Flames. Now I read this book like in a matter of two weeks and honestly I just want to read it again because I loved it so much. Basically if you haven't read it yet um, and you know anything about the Aquatar series it's that A Court of Silver Flames is in Nesta and Cassian's um, point of view and it's honestly just so perfect you get to see you know what Feyre and Rhysand are like you know in Nesta and Cassian's like eyes um, you get to see more in Cassian's eyes and Elaine and like ugh, I just I love it so much and we take Nesta who used to be like this really bitchy character and then you just start to fall in love with her and so I honestly loved it, and if you haven't read it yet, if you haven't read any of the A Court of Thorns and Rose series um, books, you have to go pick them up because they've honestly just, they've just consumed my life, honestly. Definitely go pick it up, go read it right now, and then come back, and then we can talk about it. This is going to be the spoiler session um, where we're going to have a book talk, we're going to be talking about this. If you don't want to get any spoilers, if you haven't read it yet, um, see ya. So, first thing I want to talk about is, 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 you know, the sassy scenes. You know. You know. If you don't know anything about Sarah J Maas, it's basically just fairy porn with a little bit of a plot. It literally, literally like every other chapter. I think my favorite chapter was probably chapter 37. It was a little intense. It got like really intimate. We see more about the characters. It's not just, it's not just sex. It's just, it's these characters, they're realizing that like they really do love each other. And you see that every time Nesta's like, oh, I wish he would stay and cuddle. And then Cassie's over here like, oh, it's just sex. She doesn't want anything else but sex. And it literally breaks my heart because Cassian's over here. He's like pulling a resand, right? Like he's not going to tell Nesta that she is his mate. While he's over here like, I literally love her and she doesn't love me back. <laughs> every time he would leave she'd be like oh maybe he didn't like that or why doesn't he want to come cuddle with me she was like I didn't expect him to leave so early I mean obviously like it's just sex but like I was expecting like dot 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 cuddling and I was like Nessa shut up you are in love with this man well I guess he's not technically a man because he's a fairy but <laughs> we thought we thought Rhysand and Feyre we thought Rhysand and Feyre was a lot Chapter 55, if you know what I'm saying, but a core of silver flames. Mm -mm. If you had any, any pureness about you before reading the series, it'll be gone. It'll be gone. The whole Valkyrie thing. The only reason I know a little bit about Valkyries is because of Thor um, Ragnarok. As a feminist, I... I love it. I love it right away. I just, it's my, it's my weakness. If I hear about a pack of female warriors, strictly female, I'm in love. Already in love. We know that Illyrian warriors are like really sexist. The girls, you have Gwen, you have Emery, and you have Nesta, and they're reviving the Valkyries. They're like, we can do this. So they're doing like mind stealing. They're doing the Valkyries, um, exercises and stuff like that and I just ah, I'm here for it like it's like Sarah knew that I was the feminist that I am and was like we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of girl power in there they were put in the blood right against their will sir sir that is harassment right there I loved he reading about like the survival tactics that Nesta went through and like Emery and Gwen they were like yeah like we just needed to find each other and I couldn't help I could not help but compare um Cassian, Azrael, and Rhysand to Nesta, Emery, and Gwen and I was like literally it's them it's them they're the same thing they're the same people that what there's only like what 12 or so people who've even like gotten as far as to getting to the mountain and Gwen, Emery, and Nesta were one of those people who... Duh! Can we also, also mention 
Resand. Now, I love Farah. I've always loved Farah. I don't know, I kind of saw her in a different light when reading A Court of Silver Flames. She seemed more motherly. Um, you know, like she's always taking care of everyone. She's always defending everyone, like no matter what. And Resand, we see Resand also in a different light because we're like, Resand, yes, he's so hot. He's so hot, he could rail me in a second, like, it doesn't matter. But then we see him in A Court of Silver Flames, and he's like this father figure, like, he's just this grumpy old dad the whole time. And he's like yelling at everyone, he's like threatening to like kill Nesta. And I'm like, Reset, calm down, calm down. He's so protective over Feyre, which is like, duh, duh. Feyre is his mate. And he's waited 500 years to marry his mate. He deserves to be protective. He deserves that, okay? He's just like grumpy all the time. Like always like just sneering at Nesta. And I'm like, hello, mister. And at the end, Nesta is saving Feyre, Resand, and the baby um, Nyx, I think. Nyx, um, saving their lives. And ugh, she calls him brother and like, ah, he like hugs her. <laughs> too many feels, too many feels. Speaking of feels, I bawled. I bawled my eyes out when we got to the hiking scene. I didn't expect it to be as emotional as it was. I mean, I knew that there was going to be a lot of self healing, a lot of mental healing, like mental health issues in this book when we got to the hiking trail and she started explaining everything to Cassian I Broke down in tears when she started explaining the fire and how she didn't hear a fire crackling She heard you know the the neck of her father um, Like cracking the darkness inside of her how she made a friend with the house and she just wanted to share her darkness with her How her father loved her and she didn't love him as much as he loved her and it's like I bawled. I literally sobbed because we get to see Nesta throughout the entire series is like this really bitchy character. She doesn't really let anyone inside and she she says that. She's like the reason why I was being such a jerk to you Cassian is because I wanted you but I knew that I wasn't enough for you. I didn't deserve you, you know? And she tells him that and throughout the whole series she does that. That's why we hate her because she's like oh my god Nesta just like let people inside, like stop being so mean. But she starts to tell us why she is the way that she is and she breaks down. And for the reader to read that, we're like, holy crap, like, whoa. Because we're seeing this other side of Nesta. Like she's not, she's not just this strong character that we kind of hated, but like for me, I loved because I was like, when I read A Court of Thorns and Roses, I was like, all right, Nesta, you a bitch, but like, I kind of like you. One scene in the originals where she's like, oh, when I first met you, I thought you were a bitch. And she's like, oh, what changed your mind? She's like, oh, nothing. I just, I've just grown to love that about you or something like that. Literally me with Nesta. Literally me with Nesta. We finally get to see like this whole new side of Nesta. We get to see why she was so mean, which is so great. I love when authors do that. Like they show like this one side of a character and then just all of a sudden there's like this huge redemption arc and it explains everything. Like, especially with the fire. The whole time I was reading this, I was like, why doesn't she like fire? like I don't get I don't get that like what and then she tells Cassian about the fire and I was like I was like my heart my heart cannot take this almost 800 pages almost 800 pages and not enough to satisfy me absolutely not enough and if you like this video if you like this whole new IGTV um, book talk book review idea um, please like it and so that I know if you guys want any more DM me your favorite A Court of Silver Flame scenes so that we can talk about it. Yes, we can talk about the sexy scenes. I am totally an open book. I will give my every opinion about it. Can you tell my camera is broken? It's a little blurry, but hopefully that doesn't that didn't mess up the video too much. I guess I'll see you later for the next book that I will be reviewing.